Hey friends, it's Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about three of my best kind of general tips for managing and running a blog as a full-time student, whether you're in high school or college. It can often feel very overwhelming and I frequently get asked, what it's like to run a blog and all that goes along with it while being a full-time student. So we're gonna get into that today, but before I do, I feel like I say this all the time, but I also feel like I can never say it enough. I just wanted to say thank you for your support and your encouragement of me. I know I do not have a crazy huge following and that is perfectly fine because I would so much rather have the people that I do following me that truly care about me and are always so supportive and so encouraging and always just leaving me the nicest comments and the sweetest things and I blog because I love it so it's really just like icing on the cake and I truly did not expect to meet so many incredible people and to have so many lovely just wonderful genuine souls following me so I just wanted to say that it means a lot to me especially if you saw my last video I posted my first like college day in my life vlog and it was way out of my comfort zone I am an introvert so vlogging the full day was uncomfortable it was uncomfortable but in a good way I had posted on my Instagram just like like asking whether or not I should post it because I was a little unsure and you guys were just awesome so I just wanted to say thank you and if you didn't check out that video yet you can watch it and without further ado we're gonna get into today's video which is three of my best tips for managing a blog as a full-time student and just staying sane and happy and content in your blog while doing it also fun fact about me I have terrible terrible seasonal allergies and for some reason this year the allergies have been hitting me way way worse than ever before so if you saw my vlog and like when the seasons change I just get like horribly sick but it's just allergies so it doesn't go away but that's super fun but we're sticking through it anyway so the key to anything in life and especially in college life is just balance and setting your priorities which is something that I've really struggled with and really spent time working on this year which I've also talked about before with my why I left my sorority video kind of just everything and all the changes in my life have been a lot about shifting my perspective from this idea of everything has to be perfect to progress. Progress over perfection is what I have to keep reminding myself. So that's kind of also the theme of today's video and my first tip for managing a blog in college is to remind yourself as many times as it takes that it's about progress not about perfection because if you're always setting these impossible goals or setting goals that somehow keep getting further away as you get closer to them because you're always just reaching for the next big thing you're never going to get there so with your blog or if you're trying to accomplish anything or learn some new skill or hobby it really is all about valuing the progress over the perfection because like I said if let's say I want to get to my first 100 subscribers on my blog if I get to 75 and think oh no we'll go for 150 by the end of this month or something if you keep setting that goal further away instead of celebrating your progress and celebrating how far you've come you're always going to feel dissatisfied and what I've seen from a lot of people that I know more personally who are bloggers is that they become very dissatisfied when they kind of lose sight of why they're blogging or when they don't let themselves celebrate those little goals and those little progresses which is what I think it's all really about and like with my posting my blog yet posting my vlog yesterday that was like a big progress for me and not something that I thought I would do but it was an accomplishment for me so you just got to celebrate that instead of worrying about everything being perfect because it never will be my next tip for blogging while in college or working full-time or being in high school is to enjoy the process and this goes along with my first tip that if you're always focused on the end goal you're not really going to be able to kind of soak up and soak in the season that you're in and the moment that you're in and with blogging that can be really hard especially when there's so many things that go into a final blog post or a final video and like I usually do I'm reading off the notes that I wrote for this blog post which will be linked as always um there's so many hours of writing drafting editing editing again taking photos, editing photos, drafting in WordPress, you know, social media, everything that goes into one single blog post or one single video that you never really see. And from the back end, that can be kind of disheartening when you think, oh, like, I really wish I could get up a blog post this week. But then with that comes these all these other things that can be kind of overwhelming. But if you can learn to enjoy the process instead of just always going after that end goal of the finished post, it makes it a lot more enjoyable and a lot easier on yourself. And that's why I love blogging so much because I really do love the whole process. I love the writing, editing, inspiration, pictures. I love the whole thing and it's really about enjoying it because if you're only ever 
concerned with the end result, again, you're not going to be satisfied with yourself and you're going to lose sight of why you even blogged to begin with. Amazing things will happen when you let the idea of progress go tell that little voice inside your head that you're not good enough, that you're not perfect enough to get out of here and go bother somebody else because progress, not perfection, enjoy the process. My final tip for managing a blog as a full-time college student is to set a schedule that works for you, not against you. And maybe that sounds self-explanatory, but it's also something I've really struggled with this year and with kind of feeling like I'm in a battle against my planner and my to-do list for every day and every week. Your schedule, your planner needs to work for you and not against you. And again, that kind of goes along with prioritizing things that you have to get done versus things that you want to get done. So for me, people always ask like, how do you even have enough time to run a blog and be a full-time student? But I really don't see it like that because it's become such a natural part of my schedule and my routine that I don't really even think about it. And I've found the balance of working on my schoolwork and getting my schoolwork done while also having enough time blogging because blogging is like a full-time hobby to me I guess so it's not really like how do I have time for both it's like how do you not have time for both I don't know because blogging does take a lot of time but if you don't prioritize it and you leave it like a homework assignment if you leave a homework assignment until an hour before it's due on Sunday night it's going to be a lot more pressure than if you had worked on it a little bit throughout the week and that's kind of my approach to blogging I mean it's not always that perfect and that pretty again perfect is not the goal but I guess I just spend little bits of time throughout the week working on things instead of kind of making myself do the entire process start to finish in one sitting. There are a lot of things like I mentioned that go into running a blog so for me personally and with my school schedule um, I kind of just do I have a little routine of things that I do for my blog in the morning and then kind of throughout the day in little bits and then nighttime and after class and I'll run through this on my blog post as well but basically in the mornings when the day is early and I'm kind of just still waking up that's when I usually spend time reading other blog posts from bloggers that I follow engaging with other posts reading some Facebook groups for bloggers that kind of thing that can kind of just get me motivated get me in the blogging mindset and kind of just get my brain going for the day and then between classes when I have just kind of like little pockets of time that's kind of when I spend a couple minutes here and there on Instagram not really posting just engaging with others looking at others posts or maybe reading some new blog posts catching up with blog comments or posting my blog posts on Facebook groups and then after class later on in the day or night is usually when I do most of my writing besides like weekend mornings that's when I usually do a lot of blog writing as well but then kind of once class and my like daily schedule is over that's kind of when I can spend more time doing my blog writing and putting up posts and things like that or editing videos when I'm not doing schoolwork. So for me, I guess I don't really see it as like two separate things because my schedule just kind of has both throughout, but it can be challenging if you're not working in that time and allowing yourself that time to do something that you enjoy throughout the week instead of just being all school Monday to Friday and then just blogging on the weekend. I'd love to hear your tips for managing a blog or another hobby if you also work full time or go to school full time. I'm always looking for ways to improve my schedule and improve my routine. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you found these tips helpful and like I said, all the notes and kind of more information about this post and all my tips and tricks will be on my blog as always. Again, thank you for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate you guys. I don't know how I got so lucky to have such cool people to hang out with me. Until I see you next time, I hope you have a great day.